When you wake up, this is what you gotta do You gotta crush the day before it crushes you Every day I'm here to motivate Lead the way in the AM I don't want you to hear these words I need you to feel what I'm saying, oh no. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you You gotta crush the day before it crushes you In the building, Jimmy Wilson Motivation's coming, I can feel it First thing that you need to do Is crush the day before it crushes you the answers you seek are in the problems that you keep avoiding. This is the thing. You know it's an issue. You know you need to go and take care of it. And yet you keep putting it off. And that is why you continue to face this unfinished anxiety. Because there's an unclosed loop. When you start a journey, your mind, your body, your spirit, it gets into motion, it finds flow. And when you stop that journey, guess what happens? It's like hitting a brick wall in your car. Boom, that's it. Your airbag deploys, you sit there, you feel stupid, you wonder what the frick's going on, and then what? Well. The answer that you're seeking is in the problem. The problem was you weren't paying attention. You weren't looking where you needed to be. Whatever the situation is, the answers that you're looking for are there inside the problem. Are you not making enough money? Maybe the answer is that you're not doing enough work. Are you not feeling enough love and appreciation from the people around you? Perhaps you're not putting in the love and appreciation that you should. There is a law of reciprocity that you will learn about when you start down the path of personal development. There's this whole idea that the more you give, the more you get. And it's a little out there, it's a little spiritual, and it's also 100% true. The, the rewire for you, the, the change of your, your mindset and the processing of this is your giving is not always returned in exactly the same sort of energy. So like when you pour energy into something or someone, you're not always going to get the same sort of energy back. You may not even get that energy back from the same person or thing. It's kind of like if you go to the gym and you lift weights, those weights aren't going to give you an attaboy. They're not going to cheer you on. They're not going to chisel your body. The work that you're putting, the energy that you're using to move those weights is going to create physical change in you. Those weights, more than likely during that process, they're going to hurt you. They're going to cause pain. You're going to drop one on your toe. But the answer is always in the problem. What I mean by that in this scenario is the answer to getting the, the shape that you want to be in is going and doing the work to pick up those weights. That's what you have to understand. When you pour into that problem of, hey, I don't feel good, I, I'm out of shape, I want better you know, looks, I want to be stronger, well, hey, the problem, it, it, it's all right in there. The answer is doing more work to get the result. So whatever you're facing right now, the problems that you're in, stop avoiding them. Just go all in and look right them in the look them right in the face. The answers that you seek are right there looking back at you. And it's probably the work you need to do. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to go back and check out all the previous episodes. Make sure you subscribe and share this podcast with other like-minded, success-driven individuals who want to crush it. Check the show notes and grab your Crush of the Day swag over at crushingtheday.com. And remember, crush the day before it crushes you. You gotta crush the day before it crushes you.